In the immense map of the heavens, among the billions of stars and planets, there is only one globe expensive enough to show Bluffoonia, homeland of the Bluffers. Bluffoonia once was a beautiful country before the crazed maniac Clandestino took over. Clandestino turned that beautiful place into this. Why? Because Clandestino is afraid the bluffers will get his secret, the secret of getting it all. In the far-off land of Bluffoonia, sitting in his castle, Clandestino, the despoiler of all things natural, is planning another assault on that once beautiful country. Now I will make my dream come true. <laughs> At last I can rid myself of this haphazard heap of natural nonsense and build myself the perfect country. I will flatten those meaningless mountains. I will fill the lakes that waste the space, tear up the useless trees that surround them. The forest and those flea-bitten animals that live there will be the first to go. <clears throat> eh? Oh, it's you, silly cone. What have you got there? This is the result of the latest experiments from your new laboratory, sir. The brick? You've made me a brick? Oh, I set up the finest laboratory that money can buy, and you wretched robots make me a brick? I know what a brick is! I've seen them before! There are thousands of them holding up this castle! This, sir, uh, is no ordinary brick. It's a bio-brick. It is biologically able to reproduce itself. A bio-brick? Precisely, sir. I knew you would recognize it. Yes, yes, of course. How does it work? If you will follow me, sir, I will demonstrate. A brick that makes another brick? That's impossible. This one brick, sir, will produce a never-ending supply of bricks, which in turn will make a never-ending brick road. Which way would you like the road to go, sir? That way, through the forest. Very good, sir. The biological activator. It works! Oh, what a genius I am. Superb! Bricks building my roads throughout the lanes and breadth of Blafonia. Oh, a dream come true. I wish you would refrain from doing that, sir. It upsets my floppy disks. Come along, my wiry waiter. We will go to the top of the tallest castle tower and watch my masterpiece grow. Very good, sir. Lower, please, Regal the Eagle. I can't reach it yet. Another step and I'll be off the end. What was that you said, Regal the Eagle? I said another step and I'll... Oh, you 
are a careless bird, Regal the Eagle. I needed those red berries for my mugwort trifle. Oh, this seems to be the only tree in the forest that has any fruit. There aren't many flowers either. Oh, I don't know what is happening this year. It must be all that nasty pollution in the air. Is that what is making these berries so bitter? Oh, just because they taste bitter, it doesn't mean that they're not good for you. On the contrary, these berries will perk up your liver, make your blood flow as a river, make your kidneys happy and gay. One bite of these will strengthen your knees and delay your brain's decay. They're full of vitamin C, you see. Yuck, I don't see. Well, let me explain. Jim sang, sing, song. Helps you live long. Tells you what you should not do. Number one rule in my health school, what tastes good is bad for you. No preserved stuff, cholesterol free, pure uncolored seed. Fries can't compare with backyard weed. Out with candy, all that's dandy. Never utter bad word, butter. Butter's better left unspread. Sing? You hear that? Of course, I was singing. No, not you. The sound in the distance. What on earth could it be? What is it, Regal Eagle? I don't understand what's happening. Get out of here, Ginseng! Run! Kill Zok! What is happening? Yes, yes, you're right. I, I must tell Zok. I must warn everybody. Stop! Stop! The road is into the forest already. <laughs> Onwards, my beautiful bricks, onwards! Brick over that grubby greenery. Oh, brilliant, I am brilliant! Who else could have invented a biological brick? Only me, the greatest brain that the world has ever known! The sole owner of the secret of getting it all. Oh, I must go down to the catacombs to see my darling secret. Do you wish me to accompany you, sir? Most certainly, definitely not. No one sees my secret. You stay here. I want hourly reports on the progress of my road. It's coming this way. It will ruin the forest. Oh, my, my. Oh, you should have seen it, Zaka Road, making itself brick by brick. Brick by brick, you say? Oh, yes, yes, that is most unusual. Uh, where are these bricks coming from? They make themselves, sir. I saw them with both my eyes. Plip, plop, plip, plop, they went. First one brick, then another, and another. Plip, plop, plip, plop. The uh, bio goose has finally flipped her oriental lid. I I've heard of roads that go nowhere, but not by themselves. She's gone crackers. 
Come along, Regal Eagle. Nobody believes me. Let them wait here. The road will be passing this way any time now. I believe you, Ginseng. That's what Clandestino would do. Too scared to come by himself. He sends a road. I think we ought to stop the road before it gets here. Stop it. Attack. 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 Come on. Come on. Let's go. You wait for me, Prickly Pie. I'm coming. I think we should all go and help. We must stop the road before it's too late, before it overruns us. Zip, wait. It could be dangerous. Zip, zip, wait for me. Ah, come on. It can't be that dangerous. I ain't never heard of anybody being run over by a road before. I can't move as fast as everyone else, but I'll have to go. Somebody will have to organize everything. Jinseng, will you show me the way? This is very brave of you, Zok. Come along. Ah, well, I wasn't doing too much today anyway. I think I'll just foxy down and take a look. Imblufferable. Clandestino has invented a self-building road of multiplying bricks. What do we do, Zark? We'll just have to try to divert it. Gee, that's a great idea, Zark. Maybe we could turn it and make it go back the way it came. You mean send it back to the castle? Well, yeah, honey boy. Send it back to the castle. Boy, won't Clandestino get a big surprise. Yes, yes. Take a brick and turn it. And uh, when the next one is made, turn that too. But you have to be fast. The bricks are multiplying very quickly. Oh, come on, everyone. Grab a brick and turn it. I'm coming, Zip. I'm coming! I'm coming! Well done, Zip. Keep going. You're winning. You're winning. The road is turning. Hi, Zark. Uh, how's it going? Some construction site, huh? Good. Good you got here, Sharky. Get in there and help turn the bricks. Ah, my mother told me never to play in the road. Tut, tut, tut. Gee, we've done it. We've done it. We've turned the road. Well done. Well done. We've saved the forest. Yeah, yeah. Great going. We've done it. We've done it. Gee, thanks, Blossom. For a girl, you did a swell job. I'm really proud of you. Why, thank you, Sip. I like it when you're proud of me.
to the castle. Boy, what a surprise Clandestino's gonna get. Yeah, yeah, that will be some angry villain. Having his road back will send him around the bend. I'll follow the road back and attack the castle. Here I come, here I come. Attack, attack, bam, wham, I'm coming. Where is Honeyboy gone? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago. Honeyboy! Honeyboy, Honeyboy! Where are you hiding? <clears throat> Maybe he has gone back to look after his bees. Hey, what do you suppose that is? Does that look like an outline of a bear? Or don't it? Gee, is that Honey Boy under there? Oh, poor Honey Boy has been run over. Are you down there, Honey Boy? I think so. It's all dark, so I can't tell. Well, give me some help here, Sharpie. We gotta get those bricks off Honey Boy. Nah, why don't we just leave him here? I mean, we could stick up a road sign saying, uh, Bear left here. <laughs> I will help you, Zip. Oh, thank you, Blossom. It won't take long. These bricks are still soft. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The bricks are basically made from clay and need the sunshine to harden them. Here in the forest, the tall trees are preventing the sunlight getting through. That's why the bricks are still soft. Hello, honey boy. Are you all right? Uh, hello, Blastem. I'm okay. Just uh, feeling a bit flat, that's all. Oh, stay where you are, honey boy. We'll get the rest of the bricks off you. Yeah, thanks, Sip. Uh, actually, uh, I wasn't going anywhere. Getting rid of the forest will give me another hundred square miles of building land. If I build everything close together, that'll save even more space. <laughs> they won't need any light because I will build them without windows. <laughs> oh, what a brilliant idea. What's happening? What's that noise? What's happening? Where's the light gone? I'm afraid there's been a slight hitch in the proceedings, sir. The road must have met an unforeseen obstacle in the forest and decided to return. You've bungled your biological bricks. <laughs> They're bricking us up. Yes, that seems to be their intention, sir. <laughs> well, do something, you tin brain robot. This is all your fault. I took the liberty of preparing a biological deactivator. It will stop the bricks from multiplying. With your permission, sir, I shall go to the tower and reduce the road to rubble. Yes, yes, and hurry, hurry! Stop those bricks before it's too late! At once, sir. Yes, I, I see, I see. Look at this sock. Suddenly, all the trees are in fruit again. Oh, it's wonderful. And flowers are growing everywhere. Yes, yes, that is good news. I have uh, just been reading the book of all knowledge. Yes, <clears throat> it, uh, it seems that when we destroyed the road and threw all those bricks into the forest, we did something remarkable. If I'm not mistaken, they were made with a biological ingredient. It is that which is making the forest bloom. Does that mean old clandestino has done us a big favor, only he don't know it? Exactly. I suppose we should find a way to thank him. Oh, we already did. We gave him his road back. <laughs> Get back from attacking the castle. Couldn't get in. Piled with mud. Don't think no one can get out. Good, good. That means that Clandestino won't be troubling us for a while. We can now <clears throat> sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labors. Oh, Zip. 
You're so clever. What a wonderful husband you would make. Oh, come on, Blossom. Zock? Mm hmm? Blossom's gone all funny again. It's all biological, my boy. All biological. Clandestino won't be bothering the bluffers for a while. Well, at least not until Silicone has dug him out of the mud trap. But what will be Clandestino's next diabolical plot to get rid of the bluffers? Find out by watching the next exciting episode of The Bluffers. I've done nothing to deserve a fate like this. I just don't want to be a part of this experiment. I mean, it could be highly dangerous. Oh, that's wrong. It is highly dangerous. Well, if nature wanted dogs to fly, they would have been fitted with proper wings like real boys. And maybe even a propeller. <laughs> What's the reading now, silicone? Force four, sir. Good, good. Get ready to launch the dog. Fly, dog, fly! Help, help! I don't want to fly. I don't want to die. Do you think this is wise, sir? If your experiment fails, it could damage the dog. That's supposed to be a guard dog, right? Yes, sir. And as a guard dog, he's useless, right? Well, not entirely, sir. I have seen him awake occasionally. My experiment works, and that dog learns to fly. He could glide above the castle and really keep an eye on things. And if your flying experiment fails, sir? Then I've lost nothing. <laughs> if you allow me, sir, I shall return to my work. What are you robots working on? It's more important than witnessing the success of my brilliant brain, the invention of the flying guard dog. I'm perfecting an anti-mist mirror spray to prevent the mirrors from fogging when you apply yourself, sir. Oh, good, good. <laughs> well done. If it works, and it had better, you will then build me a vast mirror park that will reflect millions of images of me. A vast, non-misting mirror park. Very good, sir. Millions of mirrors to reflect me. Me, the father of brillianthood. Clandestino, the unstoppable, the undefeatable. I am the ultimate in all life forms because I have the secret of getting it all. Once I was an ordinary person no better than the rest of you out there but then a mighty secret was revealed to me and now i've got what i will never share i got it all i've got it all i've got it all together ten times more than any would need I've got it all I've got it all and the secret how I got it they can cry for it till they bleed they can howl they can yowl and use man to spare a foul consult their wise old owl but if they try to prowl all they'll get from me is a scowl and my secret who
time for me, my little aviator. <laughs> he was supposed to soar. life, the sun in the morning and the moon at night. The inland brook feeds the quiet lake and sweetly sings the lark through summer. Ah, peace. What? We're under attack. I'm ready. I'm ready. What is it? What is all this noise about? Oh, ruining my reverie. Gee, I'm sorry, but I'm storing my nuts. I guess one of my sacks fell off the tree. Nuts are no good for you, Zip. Oak leaf cutlets. Now there's a health food. Hold it. Hold it, everyone. I've been watching the castle, sir. Clandestino is on a rampage again. Already, he is clearing another great area of the forest. He is constructing a gigantic mirror park. <laughs> What's a mirror park? An island of reflected self-glory. He declared that he is unbeatable because he is the last word in life forms. His exact words were, evolution's exalted end product. So, beware. Pizak, what is this evolution stuff? Well, evolution is, uh, is the, uh, the way things uh, change, evolve, uh, improve, uh, get stronger, uh, I think. Maybe that's Clandestino's secret. This evolution thing, him being the last word in it and all, maybe he's so strong we'll never beat him. Maybe we could discover a way of evolving faster, to find something to make us grow more quickly. Perhaps then we could overtake Clandestino, at least draw level with him. A healthy diet is what makes you grow in every way and provides you with all the things you need to improve yourself and change for the better. It so happens that I have just made a soup that contains all the best ingredients that our fertile forest can provide. A smidgen of this would make you change almost overnight. Oh, gee. Maybe that's the answer. Uh, could we try some of this soup of yours, Ginseng? Will it make me ever loose? It will certainly be good for you. I have prepared a large kettle of this soup, and all it needs is an extra stir or two and left to stand overnight. Yes, yes, well done, Ginseng. We must give it a try. I hope your invention works better than mine, Silicone. The dog seems to be all right. <laughs> he must have bounced. Quite likely, sir. Now, if you will kindly move aside and allow me to spray the mirror, I'm sure you will be delighted with the result. Oh, 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 oh. oh Clandestino, you are the consummate crystallization of charisma. <laughs> it doesn't work. Why, oh, you miserable mass of microchips? You've been wasting your time and my money! How very disappointing, sir. It is obviously not the right strength. I will apply a little more. Is that the great clandestino I see before me? Oh, it has done it again, you metal moron! I only get to see myself for two seconds at a time! Regrettable. Try to stop talking so much hot air. Permit me, sir. I shall apply it at full strength. <laughs> Try it now, sir. I'm sure you'll see a great improvement. Mm. 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 I like it. Yeah. Yes, I definitely like it better this way. 
It is now showing my true potential. Big head. I can't stand soup. I'll put my nuts in it. Soak up that rapid evolution goodness. Evolution soup is what makes you grow. Lovely, but a bit more than that, I think. <laughs> I am the one. I just know it. I am the one destined to out evolution clandestino. Yeah! <laughs> Honey boy, what are you doing? Oh, uh, well, I, uh, I, I was uh, just having a little taste of soup, like. Well, you finished it all. There's none left for anyone else. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, just look at me. Uh, don't I look different? You're full of soup. Oh, well, I'm beginning to feel different. Anyway, I I'm going to go and bring back Landestino's secret all by myself. Maybe by the time I get to the castle, the soup will have evolution me. You plan on going right now? Yep. Well, you better leave this behind, honey boy. You know what a mess you get into when you spill it. Hey, I need that. I might get hungry. Oh, wait here, honey boy. I'll get you something to eat. <laughs> Take these nuts, honey boy. They're soaked in the evolution soup. Thanks, Sip. Oh, good luck, honey boy. Gee, I hope he makes it. Very brave thing to do. But right now I ain't feeling so brave. Only I'm here and I gotta find the secret. Nothing. I've evolution. I'm twice the bear I was. I'm a brawny Bruno, a king-sized bear. Okay, okay, I'm ready for anything. Hand over the secret. Uh, Mr. Clandestino, uh, would, would you like uh, to give me the secret? Over the secret! Uh, secret. A bone. Yeah, yeah, where's the secret? My, my darling secret. A juicy bone. Where's the secret? Is it in this room? Uh, secret. Yeah! A bone. No. Uh, What's in here? Oh, my darling secret. Oh, the juicy bone. Ouch! Oh, it's dark in there. Hmm, secret abode. <sighs> Who are you? Me? Yes, you. I'm you. Me? Uh, no, you. Uh, who? Uh, you. Uh, me? But you are so small. I'm the little you. Uh, 
Little me? Oh, I, I see. <sighs> Are you asleep too? No, uh, I never sleep. I'm always hanging around waiting for you. You follow me everywhere? Oh, yeah, of course. In case you look in the mirror, I gotta be here for that. Well, you must know about my secret. No, I mean, I mean uh, yeah, yeah, of course I do. I'm you, remember? I was on my way to visit my secret, but... but uh, I'm too tired right now. I think I'll go back to bed. No, 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 don't go back to bed. This is the best time to visit the secret. I'll go with you. No, 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 no. I'm... I'm much too tired. I... I'll leave it till the morning. Hey, uh, uh, listen, uh, give me the keys. Uh, I'll go for you. Well, can you do that? Go without me? Well, sure, sure, there's nothing to it. When you're in bed, I have nothing to do. Uh, give me the keys and uh, I'll go visit the secret. <sighs> you go for me. That's a very good idea. Yeah, hot honey buns, I'm bluff a brilliant. I got the keys to the secret. <laughs> but where do I find it? Gee, this evolution stuff is great. It really works. I'm a big brainy bear. I wonder what I'll get to be this time. <laughs> oh, uh, hi. May I inquire what you are doing here, sir? I am, uh, uh, I've uh, come to visit the secret. Really? Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, the, uh, the secret of getting it all. I've heard of it, sir. Uh, Mr. Clandestino has just given me the keys. So I see, sir. So, uh, if uh, you will be so good, my man, as to take me to it? Very good, sir. If you will follow me. Uh, secret. Oh, it's a long way. Not far now, sir. If I may have the keys, sir. Is the secret to there? It is the only place you will find the secret of getting it all, sir. Allow me. After you, sir. Hey, this ain't the way. I'm outside the castle. Uh, hey, let me in. Mm, I've been to it. Hey, let me in. I'm a brainless booby bluffer. I'm a bamboozled bear. Hold on. No, I'm not. I'm revolutioned. That robot obviously didn't recognize me. I'm not the bear you thought I was! Open the door, please! Hmm, I'll have to go around the back. Was that me? Is, uh, is that you, honey boy? Hmm, it is me. I haven't evolution at all. I'm not a brawny Bruno. I'm still a scrawny bear. Oh, these things ain't no good. I want my honey pot. <laughs> Leapy creepers. <laughs> <laughs> In the nuts are destroying Clandestino's mirror park. Oh, the forest is fighting back. I must tell Zack. Hmm, that sounds rather like the mirror park being destroyed. I better warn the master.
in the morning. We are very proud of Honey Boy. You are, Honey Boy, the true champion of the forest. What made those nuts grow so fast? My evolution soup. Everything I put in it came from the forest. Now the forest has it all back. Uh, oh, yes, yes, ginseng is quite right. It was the soup. Ah, evolution. Life's grand designer. Dance and dance. That's me in style. For a very great little while. There's, There's no, no denying it. Peach is trying it. We're all doing it. Totally doing it. It's a dance that gives a chance to everything in this old world. It's called the evolution convolution. It's a natural revolution. Make your dancing contribution to the evolution way. You may be a Lilliputian, but with help from evolution, you'll enlarge your constitution through the convolution today. Fancy evolution to a goon. Here today, goon tomorrow. It's <laughs> called the evolution convolution. It's a natural revolution. Make your dancing contribution to the evolution way. You may be a Lilliputian, but with help from evolution, you'll enlarge your constitution through the convolution today. Make your dancing contribution to the evolution way! I, uh, would have a better grasp of the subject if only it didn't keep changing. When Clandestino reflects on the destruction of his mirror park, will he evolve a new way of destroying the forest? Will nature keep fighting back? Will the bluffers ever bluff him out of his secret? Watch for the next thrilling episode of The Bluffers. Now, now is the time. Give it to me, Silicone. Very good, sir. Yeah, the wind is right, the time is right, everything is right. Begin the experiment. Fly, devil dust, fly. <laughs> Goodbye, forest. Goodbye, fluffers. <laughs> I know it's natural, leaves falling, but this is abominable. <laughs> Thank you, honey boy. I see that having long arms rather than wings can be useful at times. A long arm is very useful for reaching honey. Oh, well, uh, it, uh, honey makes uh, my feathers sticky. Anyway, too much honey is bad for you. Bad? How could honey be bad? It makes me feel so licky sticky good. I want more honey for my money, cause it really isn't funny if the honey isn't money in my pot. I want more honey for my money, cause it really isn't funny if the honey isn't money in my pot. Licky sticky spoon, licky sticky spoon, licky sticky funny honey tune. Even though I weigh a ton, I can move just like a bunny when I see a lot of honey to be gone. Even though I weigh a ton, I can move. When I see a lot of honey to be got Licky sticky spoon, licky sticky spoon Licky sticky funny honey tune I'm on my knees to 
to please my bees, so they will fill my pot. In twos and trees, they can appease, my tummy bleeds for quite a lot. Licky sticky spoon, licky sticky spoon, licky sticky funny honey too. Keep turning out the honey, cause it really isn't funny if the honey isn't runny in my pot. Oh, yes. Sheer blufferish. Honey will make holes in your teeth. Hey, <laughs> your jokes on you, ginseng. You ain't got no teeth. <laughs> Fall. Oh, they've never fallen like this before. <laughs> leaves, 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 leaves falling down and down again. <laughs> I got you! Uh, you fly high in the sky, then bam, bam. And archoo, archoo dust everywhere in the air. And those leaves will be leaving. <laughs> and trees won't be breathing. And those bluffers will be sneezing their little bluffer snuffers off. Achoo! Get it, Clump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me! Why, thank you, Psycho. I think you're a super snake. Achoo. Why aren't you sneezing? Snakes can't sneeze. We shiver and shake. Shoot trees full of holes. Pierce, sick, dump leaves on me. Take that and that and that. Did you have to do that? Trees don't talk. Oh, yes, they do. You want a wig full of stickers? Why don't you give Clandestino the wikes? It's him. He's been dropping dirty dust all over the trees. you. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Can't you use a handkerchief when you sneeze? And would you mind unpinning my ears? Leafless, all our trees are left leafless. <laughs> Where are the leaves of yesteryear? Or this year, for that matter, an unseasonal fall. Foul leaf thiefing is afoot. As I always say, when leaves are leaving, leave it to me. However, in this case... Gee, Zark, I've lost all my nuts. Achoo! It could be a diabolical defoliant dumped on the forest by clandestino. But then there's a remedy. Well, there's always a remedy, if I could uh, only remember it. Well, you know so much, Zark. You'll remember it. Why, no. We clear the leaves away, and next year, they'll grow again in the spring. Well, if there is a spring, what do we clear the leaves away with? We're bluffers, and bluffers are huffers and puffers. So we'll huff, and we'll puff the leaves away. Well, you think that'll work, Zock? It'll work, Zip. I know. <sighs> There. What <coughs> did I say? <sighs> Horse eight, horse nine. Give me ten, a ten. I don't want a gale, a monsoon, a typhoon, a hurricane, a force 11, twister, force 12. I want to blow away the whole country and all those bluffers in the forest. Fly, 
devil does fly! That's what I get for being helpful. I wish the wind would make up its mind. My bees are all going to sink. Gee, how'd you do that, Sock? Oh, uh, well, <coughs> a mere trifle, my boy. The mysteries of the ages are imprinted in my every feather. Mm. Uh, truth and knowledge, the ways of the world. May I help you up, sir? You look a trifle dusty. Oh, my back is bruised, maybe busted, and certainly battered. Allow me, sir. No one will ever beat me. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. You are the main man, the ultimate winner, the one with it all. <laughs> Will there be anything else, sir? Oh, we have to stop clandestino. It's him or us. Eh, make it him. You go. Oh, no. I'm for us. We get into the castle and Glum can lead us to the secret. Are you kidding? I just told you what he's cooking up in there. I ain't leading you nowhere. You're a coward, Glum. That's me, and that's why I'm still around. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna find a quiet place to lie down. Yeah. And uh, wait for the wind to change. Oh, wind! Yeah, I agree. He's a lot of hot air. Oh, I've got it, Sharpie. Wind and hot air. Yeah. Well, you better lie down, too. Oh, poor Zip. No, no, I, I mean, I've got the answer. We get into the castle quietly and without being seen by using a balloon. Sure, sure. That's a great idea. Only, uh, we don't have a balloon. We make one, like this, out of big leaves. Well, the forest is full of them. We make a leaf balloon that'll float like a leaf. Yeah, and uh, fall like a leaf. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Well, not if we fill it with hot air. Uh, great. And uh, where do we get the hot air? Oh, from the volcano. Stitch one, stitch two. And pull tight together. Stitch one, stitch two. Pull tight together. Thrill, thrill, what a thrill. Spike, spike, that's what I like. No point in having points if you can't score a point or two. I see I've come to the end of my rope. Ooh, that smelly sulfur is stinging my nose. I didn't know you could fly, Jinseng. It's the uh, latest thing in flying gear, kid. If it's too tight, uh, nibble away from the inside. Oh, gosh, I can't see a thing. Uh, my book of all knowledge tells me that flying is for the bird. No, no, no. Squirrels should not venture higher than your average tree. I've never considered soaring before. But it is faster than slithering. Get in there, Ginseng. It's like a home away from home. Oh, Clevestino is in for a big surprise. Half a pound of toad wart, a dash of axle grease, a gallon of odd liver oil. Stir it in with engine gunk. Now some polyunsaturated sludge, a soup song of sour soup, a pinch of putrid pelican, just an upgraded alligator rind for that retching taste. <laughs> then the finishing touch, a tub of water boiled in my jogging socks. <laughs> and that's it, enough pure yucky guck to finish the forest forever. <laughs> Glum! 
Were you ever in the forefront of an experiment? The vanguard of invention? A pioneer of progress? No, you were not. But it's not too late. I'm giving you your last chance. You too can plunge into your destiny. You shall test the abominable squelch. You shall be the first dog who is also the guinea pig. <laughs> It works. <laughs> yucky guck, yucky guck. <laughs> Today we pollute a miserable dog. Tomorrow, the world! Well, there's one problem. There are no problems, my boy. There are only opportunities for greatness. Well, how do we get down? I mean, inside the castle. No problem. Clandestino will shoot you down. <laughs> go, man, go! Singing this tune ya to ya to ya. It really surprises how hot air rises and cold air lets you down. Over Blafonia in my balloonia. Singing this tune ya to ya to ya. Then you realize what makes it fly is instead of. Oh, uh, in my youth I too took to the air. Not enough feathers left on my wings now to lift my <clears throat> ample body. I wouldn't dream of trying it. <sighs> the bluffers are coming! The bluffers are coming! Aerial attack! I'll shoot them all down! Oh, I'm not feeling at all well. I'm a basket case. We're sinking. Throw over the ballast. We're losing height. Watermelons. Bombs to smash them. Hailstorms large as melons. Cats and dogs I've heard of, but this is... Oh! The abominable squelch. Take that, you ballooning bluffer! Oh, we've been hit. Oh, the leaves, they're dissolving. And the hot air is escaping. We're falling. Oh, I never wanted to be a space squirrel. Trees are good enough for me. Now there's clandestino and I'll be a squirrel burger. With the snake fries. Me, I'll give him a bunch full of prickles on his plate. <laughs> I don't care if you're not guinea pigs. You will be by the time I've squelched you. Here comes the yucky guck! Undo me, somebody! Oh, behind bars, and I haven't done anything. They say that in the zoo, but it don't do them no good. <laughs> a pinch of pesky plastic, grated polyester, a gallon of guns, curry and chili and all that burns. Now mix the brew, boil, turmoil, plenty of oil, and soon it will give you a sickening sauna. <laughs> You're making me tight. Oh, I never could tie knots. I'm all paws. Please, sorry. Time for my experiment. <laughs> you first, squirrel. First the sun, then the plunge. Oh, please, sir, but may I get down? All in good time. Into the guck. Oh, help! Help! I don't want to be your appetizer. Let me go. Help! Help! Oh! oh. Ow! Oh, come on. Let's get out of here. Stop them, 
silicone. Glum, stop those blabbering bluffers, they're getting away! And if it hadn't been for the courage of Prickly Pine and Psycho, I would have been Squirrel Stew for sure. Yeah, yeah, you were lucky, Zip. You could have landed yourself in a lot of hot water. Oh, you're right, honey boy. I think I'll give up flying for a while. Yes, yes, I agree. As it says in the book of all knowledge, animals should keep their feet on terra firma. The more firma, the less terror. Yeah. Well, if anyone wants my opinion, I'd say ballooning over Blafonia is a load of baloney. Well, the aerial antics of those ballooning bluffers nearly landed them in the soup. But a little setback like that won't stop the bluffers. They'll be back with another plan to save the forest and get the secret of getting it all in the next episode of The Bluffers. The day dawned bright and beautiful in Bluffunia's last remaining forest, but Zock, the old owl, was only dimly aware of it. He is no longer the bird he once was. In fact, he has decided his time has come to wing his way to that higher tree. Oh, dawn at last. Welcome, son. Welcome, bird son. I think by the feel of my old bones that this will be my last dawn. Ah, age, Anu Domini. It comes to us all in the end. Ah, not long to go now. What will happen to all the bluffers without me here to advise and guide them? Only with this recording device which Zip <coughs> uh, rescued from the castle, I can at least leave behind some words of wisdom for the others. Those foolish, scatterbrained creatures. What will they do without me? And Steno could triumph and turn our green and beautiful forest into a concrete desert. It is a blessing that I will not be here to see it happen. Everything is getting a little darker, a little further away. My time has come. Goodbye, fellow bluffers. I'm off to that big forest in the sky. <laughs> There's always plenty to keep me busy, Blossom. Nuts to find, nuts to carry, nuts to store. Don't you ever relax for a moment? Oh, I can't stop now while there are things to be done and battles to be won. <laughs> what did you say, Blossom? I didn't say a word, Sip. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, it's coming from behind Zock's tree trunk. Oh, sit close by me. Have I arrived? Is this the big forest in the sky? How beautiful. But please, not yet, oh, not yet. Whoever you are, listen to me. I have so much left to do. I'm not ready to take this last flight. Please, let me go around again. A bit more slowly this time. Let's play it again to wind back to 
this time. Hmm, it uh, seems to be over. Uh, uh, where am I? Oh, Zip, what's the matter with him? Oh, Zaka, it's me, Zip. Are you all right? Oh, uh, Zip, my boy, I'm weak, very weak. My head is pounding, my eyes are on the blink. My beak feels weak, I have a pain in my brain. My belly feels like jelly. Oh, I'm a very sick owl. Almost bluffed out. Gee, Zuck, it sounds as if you don't feel well. It's worse than that. Far, far, far worse. My light is almost extinguished. I'm going fast. Where is he going to, Zip? I don't know, Blossom. Are you planning to take a trip, Zuck? Yes, my boy. To that far country. Goodbye, Zip. Goodbye, Blossom. I think he's really sick. What are we going to do, Zip? When I ate too many nuts once, ginseng made me a drink. Some swamp weed tea. Oh, no. Oh, my inner workings couldn't tolerate that concoction. Here comes ginseng now. Oh, ginseng. You'll know what to do. Uh, what to do about what exactly? Oh, it's Zach. He's not feeling very well. Oh, no. Oh. Feathers limp, eyes bloodshot, lacking in energy. Oh, it's obvious to me that he's out of salts. His blood lacks iron, a tonic of mineral salts would do him a world of good. Where do we find these mineral salts, Ginseng? Well, minerals are found in rocks and things. All we have to do is dig. What we need is somebody who could see through the ground to tell us where the minerals are buried. Psycho! Psycho! Oh, of course. Ginseng, go and fetch Psycho and tell him it's a matter of life and death. Delicious dream. I dreamt I was chewing the biggest bone in the world. Enormous it was. I couldn't even carry it, but it belonged to me. Hush, you mangy mongrel. I'm trying to concentrate. Why are those nasty little creatures creeping around with shovels? If they think they're gonna dig down into my deepest dungeon and take my secret away from me, then they're miserably mistaken. Nobody or nothing can ever get it away from me. Do you hear? Nobody! Silicone, get up here immediately! You rang, sir? What took you so long? I want to know what's going on down there in the forest. I really must protest. I was just in the middle of my morning oil break. Oil break? I'll break every transistor in that tin head of yours if you don't do what I tell you. You'll find yourself out in the trash in a flash with a crash. Now find out what those animals are plotting. <laughs> All right, Psycho. You know what you have to do. Certainly. I perceive my special talents as an all psing snake are required to seek the stipulated substances. Now then, honey boy, lift me up and I shall lead you to the spot. <laughs> Sorry, Psycho. Can you still find the minerals? what those furry felons are up to. They're digging for precious metals. They want to be super rich like me. How oh, dare they? They have no claim. This country and everything in it, or under it, or even above it, 
is mine. Mine. Yeah, mine, mine, mine. I own the air rights. A mine? Oh, dear. I do hope you're not expecting me to dig one, sir. Dig one what? What are you rattling on about? A mine to excavate the minerals for yourself. A mine to excavate the minerals for myself? Of course! Oh, that brilliant boiling brain of mine always comes up with the most marvelous ideas. I want diggers and bulldozers and tractors and excavators. And I want those minerals coming up out of the ground before those animals can get their grubby little paws on them. We'll start digging right there. Wouldn't it be better to dig outside the castle, sir? What? And have those bluffers steal the minerals while we weren't looking? No, we dig here, silicone. Very good, sir. Mine, all mine. All the minerals that are mine will be mine. <laughs> This is the spot. I feel the vibrations very strongly. There's iron down there. Iron, good. Excellent for the blood. Let's dig. Are you ready, honey boy? I'm ready. Here goes. That's it, honey boy. Dig. 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 Dig, dig, dig. I'll dig deeper than anyone ever dug before. I'll have a hole so huge. I'll make a mine so massive. And all those precious minerals will belong to me alone. Come on, dig deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Deeper. I can't go any deeper. I've struck something metal. Now, suppose you explain why you just knocked a hole in my ceiling. Oh, Sharpie. Sorry, Shoppy. We was uh, just digging for minerals, and Psycho said there was iron down there. Of course there's iron down here. My best iron cooking pot. Poor Sharpy. Uh, so what's the deal here anyway, you guys? I mean, uh, what's with the minerals? Oh, poor Zock is pretty sick, and Jin Seng thinks that a mineral tonic would make him feel better. Uh, minerals, eh? Well, what sort of minerals? It could be anything, Sharpie. Iron, tin, quartz, sulfur, rock salt, uh, coal, gold, silver, diamonds. Gold, silver, diamonds? Well, we're not interested in that stuff, Sharpie. Look, Psycho's vision is working again. The vibrations are strong. Come on, honey boy, let's go. Gold, silver, diamonds. Well, that's another kettle of minerals. But they'll never get very far with that half-baked bear doing the digging. There's only one person around here with real digging gear. Clandestino. I bet if he knew about those lovely minerals, he'd be so grateful. He'd want to share half of what he found with the fox who told him. <laughs> and whatever I find will be mine. Oh, mine, do you hear that? Did you? Get those machines to dig any faster? They're working flat out, sir. Uh, it's taking too long. Hurry, man, hurry! I'd better see if I can attract somebody's attention. Oh, I do wish they'd hurry. I'm fading fast. The light is going out of my life. Oh, it, just a passing cloud. Clandestino, digging for rocks, big machines. Rocks, rocks, clocks, clocks. Time is running out. We got flux, little rocks, and rocks. Rockin', rockin', rocks around the blocks. Rockin', rockin', rocks around the blocks. Geological rockin' is knockin' them out of their socks. There's nothing like shockin' with pockets full of hot rocks. We're rockin' house stockings way down the block of bedrock. Rockin', rockin', rocks around the blocks. Sounds kind of familiar. Come on, Daisy. Are you dead old? Nah, 
I heard it at my mother's knee. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, uh, probably didn't hear me with all that racket going on. Hello in there! Hey, this is getting ridiculous. I'm beginning to lose my voice. Watch that down in the hole. I can see something down there. Silicone, go down into the hole and see what it is. Really, sir, I'm not programmed for subterranean work. One could hang my system. <laughs> Wretched robot. Glum, come here, you moth eaten mutt. Get down that hole and see what that thing is down there. Me down a hole? I'm no mole. Get down there, I'll make your ulcers have ulcers. <whistles> Let me out of here! Not until you found something, you whining whelp. I found something. It's big. It feels like it uh, smells like it. It, it tastes like it. it yeah. Ooh, it's a bone. Dinosaur bone? I saw it first. It's mine. It's mine. Get those machines into action again. I want them on the double speed and get rid of all this junk lying around. Where's my tonic? I'm sinking slowly, but surely I'm sinking. Gee, I'm sorry, Sock. We just don't seem to be having much luck. I'll have to think of another cure. Cure? It's too late, Ginseng. I believe my time has come. Goodbye, my friends. What on earth has happened to you, Sharpie? Oh, you look to me as if you've been fighting clandestino single-handed. Fighting? Oh, yeah, fighting. Well, that's exactly what I've been doing. I needed some action. I realized the serious situation that we was in with our beloved leader going to his perch in the sky, so I went off on my own to launch a single-handed attack on a castle. I met this uh, huge machine that I had to do battle with. Huge, ugly thing it was, with a long arm and a big, uh, I mean, a, a big mouth on the end, full of teeth, sharp as needles. Oh, Sharpie, whatever did you do? That great jaw and those yellow eyes didn't scare me none. I put up me dukes and went straight for a knockout. I fought, it fought back. I wrestled it to the ground when suddenly... Yes, and? Who keeps shouting? Sharpie. What have you done to yourself? Covered in mud, <laughs> tangled up with leaves and twigs. <laughs> oh, 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 you, you look terrible. <laughs> Gee, Zach, you're laughing. That's great. Do you feel all right again? Never felt better in my life. <laughs> oh, 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 what a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Seeing you, Sharpie, has given me a real tonic. Oh, oh, what a sight. I'm battered and bruised and covered in cuts. I'm a hero, you know. We know, Sharpie. What can we do for him, Jin Sang? Only one thing. Swamp weed tea. I'll go to fetch some. Swamp weed tea? I'm getting hurt. <laughs> We've been digging for hours and we haven't struck a thing. There's nothing down there. Oh, oh yes, there is, sir. We've struck the moat. Oh, dear, rust. I'm not rust -proof. I must return to my duties. The whole thing is a washout. I'm getting out of here. The water will 
will flood into the catacombs. <laughs> a precious secret will be washed away. Come back here, you cantankerous tin can. And you, you cowardly canine, and help me bail out the water before it's too late. Oh, my darling secret is in peril. Come back here. Keep bailing out faster, faster. Get more buckets. Come on. <laughs> Will Clandestino go down with his castle like all good captains? Or will Silicone manage to pull out the plug in time? Well, you stay high and dry until the next exciting episode of The Bluffers! Clandestino's castle has been built and rebuilt, enlarged beyond recognition. The once beautiful building is now a sprawling concrete monster and badly in need of internal repair. Silicone, the robot butler, has developed a computerized wallpapering machine to help speed up the redecoration. Is this it? This is it. The only fully computerized wallpapering machine in existence. It's uh, kind of rickety, don't you think? But it lacks in solid construction. It makes up for with this massive 568K RAM memory. This machine is better equipped mentally than you are, my canine friend. <laughs> it will identify, compute the area, and completely paper that wall in 9.5 seconds flat. Okay, let's see it do it. Very well, stand back. It is now computing the size of the job. It is getting ready to paste. Oh dear. The paper has snagged. Uh, just a minor teething problem. Can you unsnag it for me, Glum? Oh, dear. It will certainly reflect your personality when the whole room is decorated, sir. What color is that? Your favorite, sir. Gray. Splendid gray. Oh, nice, clean color gray. Does this machine of yours paint as well? With a few minor adjustments, it can do anything, sir. At the moment, it's programmed to paper walls. I'm not sure that I will like wallpaper in the castle walls. If I may be permitted to make a suggestion, sir, I thought perhaps I could paint the woodwork green. Green? I hate the color green. My sentiments exactly, sir. But if you will come into the light, you will see what a drab color it really is. It will certainly match with the wallpaper. You see, sir, how dull it is in sunlight? That is green. Yes, well, it's a very dullish green, sir. Don't give me that. It's definitely green. And I hate green, I told you. I hate the color green. No bright colors. I can't stand bright colors. Nothing must be brighter than me. Meanwhile, in the forest, Honey Boy is trying his hand at painting a picture.
But I don't suppose my purple crows will make me any duller. I'd rather be of rainbow use than any single color. Now mix and blend, and in the end, everyone's your brother. There is no tone for anyone that's better than, that's better than another. Gee, Regal Eagle, I wish you would let me know when you're going to drop by. Sorry, Zip. I've just returned from a flight over the castle. I heard Clandestino shouting that he hates the color green. Oh, we know that, Regal Eagle. The leaves, the flowers, the grass, that's why he wants to destroy the forest. He hates anything that's beautiful. If we could somehow change the color of the forest, then maybe Clandestino will give up trying to destroy it. Change the color of the forest? Wow! That's a great idea, Regal Eagle! I must tell Zock! So you see, Zock, if Regal Eagle is right, that Clandestino hates the color green, then all we have to do to save the forest is to change its color. Did I hear that right? Did someone just suggest changing the color of the whole entire forest? Well, it would be silly to change only half of it. You'd end up with a striped forest. One half green and the other half... Uh... Red! I like red, 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 fighting color! Ha! <laughs> red! <laughs> Couldn't we have pink trees? I love pink. Pink! Not a fighting color! Yucky, yucky! Ah! Well, it doesn't matter what color. We've got to get some paint and change the forest. D does anyone know how to paint? Well, I do a bit, but... Uh... They're not forests, they're only pictures. Honey boy, I didn't know you were an artist. Can I see one of your pictures? Okay, uh, and then I'll show you my latest. And why don't we just wait until the fall? The trees change color by themselves. It'll save a lot of work. We haven't time to wait for the fall. You know, I did this one yesterday. Uh, my bees think it's the best one yet. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what uh, is it uh, exactly, uh, honey boy? It's a uh, cow in the field eating grass. I did it for memory. Well, where's the grass, honey boy? Well, the cow is eating it all. Well, where's the cow then? Well, it's gone back in the barn. You wouldn't expect a cow to stay in the field with no grass, would you? Not bad, honey boy. Um... But where'd you get the paint from? Well, I used the uh, bluebell juice to paint the sky, and yet the other bit is just white. Where do we get the paint to paint the forest? Right now, Clandestino is having the whole castle redecorated. There must be plenty of paint in there. Oh, great. Me and Honey Boy can raid the castle tonight when it's dark and grab a pot. Clandestino would never miss it. Splendid idea, my boy, uh, but uh, be careful. Is this it? This flimsy contraption? Well, what's it made of? Cobwebs? Do please be careful what you say about it, sir. It has a 568K RAM memory. I don't care if it has a memory of a goat. I won't have this pile of junk cluttering up the castle. Get rid of it, silicone! Of course, sir. But before I do, may I be allowed to demonstrate its capacity? No. Uh... As you will see, sir, this machine is capable of papering a wall in 9.5 seconds. Get rid of it, silicone! If I may proceed, sir, I will program the information into it. Now, 
As you will see... Uh, would you kindly stand back, sir? Twenty-two point six seconds. It has failed. Trash it, smash it, junk it. Uh, th there seems to be a slight malfunction, sir. It has papered the whole room. Eh? Uh, what? I think the machine has been a trifle over enthusiastic, sir. A trifle. You tin head. I'm imprisoned in a paper parlor. My word. It must have gone supersonic. Well above its design speed. Incredible. The whole room papered in 22.6 seconds flat. I'll flatten you, Silicone, if you don't get this room back to normal by the time I return. Where is the door? Uh, there, I think, sir. Uh, allow me... My mistake, sir. That was a cupboard. I'm warning you, silicone. Get me out of here. Uh, certainly, sir. If you will bear with me for a moment whilst I readjust my location finders. I can't see you, Sip. Where are you? Shh. Not so loud. I wonder which is the best way to go look for the paint. Uh, just look for brushes, because uh, that's where the paint will be. Zach said so. Okay. Well, let's try that doorway over there. I'm sure the doorway's in the room somewhere, sir. I remember using it when I came in. Of course it's here somewhere, you clattering clobber can. But where? Oh, do please have a little patience, sir. I will locate it soon. <laughs> ah, I can't stick this. Ah, oh, I think I have located the doorway. Be brave and follow me, sir. Have you found any paint, honey boy? No, it, it's too dark to find anything. <laughs> oh, what was that? I don't know. What are you doing, Zip? I'm following you. I mean, uh, why are you sniffing my legs? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm not sniffing your legs. You're not? <laughs> Going, honey boy. Ha, ha, ha. Who, who are you? I'm Glum. Oh, oh yeah. So it is. Well, how do you know? I, I didn't recognize you. What do you want? Oh, just uh, dropped in. You know, neighborly like to borrow some paint. Paint? What do you need that for? Oh, just uh, sort of doing a spot of decorating. I, I need some tree paint. We don't have no tree paint. We ain't got no trees. Well, any paint would do. The only paint we got around here is cement-colored paint. Well, what color is that? Sort of grayish. Not reddish? No. Bluish? No. Yellowish? I told you, only grayish. Well, so you did. Well, do you think I could borrow some of that? Well, I don't know. It's kind of risky. Well... Okay, it's this way. How much do you need? Oh, gee, they're uh, big. Yeah, clandestino gets everything big, especially his clothes. He buys wholesale. <laughs> Shh, you'll wake the guards. I am the god. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you are. Hey, do you got the secret, too? What secret? Oh, you know, um, the secret of uh, getting it all. 
Oh, that one. No, I've never seen it. Clandestino has it locked away in the catacombs. He keeps the keys around him all the time. You were... <clears throat> Uh, couldn't get those keys for me, could you? Are you crazy? If I was caught, I'd be one dead dog. Now, uh, do you want this paint or what? Oh, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. I, I couldn't lift it anyway. It's too big. I, I better be getting back. Oh, thanks for your help. Oh, boy, that's some nutty squirrel. Risks his neck to get some paint, and he don't want it. Well, even if I could have got the paint, Sock, I, I don't think the forest would look good painted gray. Yes, yes, quite right, Sip, my boy. Gray is such a, a, a non-color. Not at all right for a forest. But I did find out about the keys to the secret. He, he keeps them around him all the time, Glum said. Oh, that's very useful to know. But I'm afraid to, to get hold of those keys would be very difficult. <laughs> yes, almost impossible. We uh, have more pressing problems. We must find a way to change the color of the forest. What about red flowers? We could crush them up, get all the red stuff out of them, and paint the leaves with it. Wowie, that's a great suggestion, honey boy. Use the color from the flowers like you did on your painting. Oh, that'll work, Sock. Uh, yes, yes, well, uh, well done, honey boy. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, there are more leaves in the forest than red flowers. Oh, Sock, Sock, we don't need to, to, to paint the leaves. We just need a little of the red dye from the flowers. Drop into the, the lens of Clandestino's telescope. And then when we mix red and green, it makes brown. So when he looks through the telescope at the green forest, it'll look brown. Oh, Zip, you're so clever. Yes, yes, well done, my boy. I uh, was uh, about to suggest that very thing myself. Red and green make brown? Ooh, I must remember that. I get to attack the castle. I'm ready, I'm ready. Splat, bam, bam. No, no, Prickly Pine. This is a job for Regal the Eagle. Ready when you are, sir. Tree paint? I didn't know the trees had to be painted. Well, you learn something new every day. What is that whelp whooping at? I can't see around corners, sir. I presume he's doing his duty as a guard dog. Well, does that mean we're being attacked? Very likely, sir. It will make a change from decorating. It's those bluffers. They're after my secret. I know, I know, it's them. We must defend. Defend the castle! Where's that guard dog? There, there, up there. Woof, woof! What's this? What's this? An aviating adversary? A bluffer flying attack on the castle? A frontal assault being made behind my back? On course, target approaching. There it is. On target, on target, juice ready. Juice away! What's this? What's happening? Oh, my eyes have gone all funny. An orange dog? Well, that makes me see red. A brown forest? Oh, I can't believe it. Stop all operations. Curtail all construction. I need an eye test. Silicone. I've gone colorblind. That could be an improvement, sir. Mission accomplished, sir. Clandestino got it right in the eye. A real bluffer special. Well done, Regal Eagle. Clandestino has stopped the machines. We have saved the forest. Oh, great job and fast. Boy, if you want to get by in this world, you got to be fast on your feet.
in this world if you want to get by. You gotta be fast on your feet to avoid being hot squirrel pie. You gotta know when, you gotta know when, you gotta know when to retreat. I'm brave as a squirrel can be, I never accept a defeat. Still I must face reality, I don't want to be squirrel meat. Now people in this world, did you know that if you want to get by, you gotta be fast on your feet, fast on your feet, if you want to get by. Well, I'm here, there, back in a flash. I never stay still very long. I don't want to be, want to be squirrel hash. So I haven't got the time, I haven't got the time, I haven't got the time for a song. What do you say, Zach? We certainly made old clandestino see red. Yes, yes, my boy. That was one attack clandestino wasn't ready for. <laughs> Time and I will tell you. Time, time, tick tock time. Time, time, tick tock time. It hasn't a reason or rhyme. Now is now, but it can't last. It goes so fast I quiver. My present soon is in the past. It flows just like a river. And if I say this is today, what will it be tomorrow? Time is something we can buy, or steal, or beg, or borrow. Time, time, tick-tock time, it hasn't a reason or rhyme. Time, tick-tock time, it hasn't a reason or rhyme. The future is way at the end of this song. I still have not quite reached it. But when I've sung, the future's past. It's gone before I teached it. Time, time, tick tock time. It hasn't a reason or rhyme. Time, tick tock time. Time, time, tick tock time. time. I can't complain. So many old dogs sing and dance. Live in a world of romance. Eat meat and chew bones and lay on pure silk while I sip a bowl of warm milk. Is running and jumping to do and barking the whole day through. There are plenty of cats to chase over hills, but I sit at home with the chills. <laughs> 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 
I can't complain, I can't complain, I get kicked in the rear if I do. I can't complain, I can't complain. I'd be slid to ear if I do. <laughs> Spy in the sky, I serve the cause of a country. Spy in the sky, I'm in a satellite state. I'm in a satellite state. I'm in a satellite state. <laughs> Round your road, meridian, north, south, east, west, attitude. I'm lost and I'm not kidding. How can I get from here to there? Don't know how to get started. From here to almost anywhere is a trip to the uncharted. Geography is lost on me, can't even read a compass. If I had to put to sea, I sure would raise a rumpus. Longitude, latitude, round the road, meridian, north, south, east, west, attitude. I'm lost and I'm not kidding. If I could get high in the sky and look down at the planet, I could see that our country is just a hunk of granite. But if you're stuck down on the ground and have no map to guide you, how can you tell the world is round and others live beside you? Longitude, latitude, round the road, meridian, no south, east, west, latitude, I'm lost and I'm not Canadian. I'm just a young thing, but I'm blossoming, blossoming. Something quite new is happening to me. A new bloom of life is developing, developing. So much is new, and I'm wondering, wondering if all this is happening to you. The flower of youth is still on my cheek. A bouquet of thoughts fill my breast. The idea of love is at a new peak. I want to share someone's nest. I'm still a young thing, but I'm blossoming, blossoming. Something quite new is happening to me. A new bloom of life is developing, developing. So much is new, and I'm wondering, wondering, and seeking a god for two. My good friend, my buddy, my chump and my mate, my pal, my companion, my psychic first rate. Without you, I'm only a part of myself. So don't let me sit half a loaf on the shelf. A mere scrap if you toodaloo, a whole lot of me is you. A mere scrap if you toodaloo, a whole lot of me is you. A friend is a friend, and you're mine all the way. I can't do without you, that's all I can say. Without you, I'm only one half of a one. And half of a person can't have any fun. A mere scrap if you toodle a whole lot of me is you. A mere scrap if you toodle a whole lot of me is you. Share you.
your days And there are many ways That we can keep in touch out of sight Please keep in touch with me You mean so much to me I want to share your days and there are many ways that we can keep in touch
from the book, truth shines untarnished. Come sip from my wisdom fountain, revelation from old hill to mountain. All mystery will be history, a riddle of the ages. Between the world we see is a sea of mystery. Waves of thoughts wash over me. No secret can be safe from me. No secret can be safe from me. No secret can escape my gaze from past or even future days. My mesmerized are laser rays. What I see would you amaze? Is what we did most in archaeology. Digging and picking down deep in a hole. A rusty old pot or a dusty old bowl. Rocking way back in chronology. Is what we did most in archaeology. You can see how we swung way back in the past. Digging old bones really gives us a blast. We dig it, we dig it, we dig it the most. Unearthing our birth really fills us with mirth. Rocking way back in chronology. That's what we dig, man, in archaeology. Once I was an ordinary person. No better than the rest of you out there. But then a mighty secret was revealed to me. And now I've got what I will never share. I got it all. I've got it all. I've got it all together. Ten times more than anyone would need. I've got it all. I've got it all. And the secret, how I Cry for till they bleed. They can howl, they can yowl, use mantis, bear, or fowl, consult their wise old owl. But if they try to prowl, all they'll get from me is a scowl. And my secret will be mine until the end. <laughs> I've got it all. I've got it all. I've got it all together. And I ain't gonna give them.